Good Sunday evening to Northern Michigan. Now, although throughout most of the day today we had a little bit of a break from the rain, it is returning and we have some snow and cold weather in store for us for the next couple of days. Here's a look at temperatures across the greater Midwest. Now, we're seeing anywhere from upper 30s into the 40s and even a few low 60s still hanging on for some of us in Michigan. However, look down to the south of us, seeing 70s close to 80 in Cincinnati. And then a look off towards the west here, we're seeing 46 in Des Moines. This is right across where this frontal system is laying here. And then north of Des Moines in Minneapolis, 39 degrees, 31 up in International Falls. That colder air is all headed our way. So here's a look at satellite conditions. We are looking at cloud cover all night tonight, and that's going to be the case for a good portion of tomorrow. Might start to see a few peaks of some clearing skies later on in the day. The other thing that we're seeing out there, more rain. Like I said, this system making its way, starting to edge its way in this evening. We are expecting it to cover the areas we had later on into tonight. If I zoom out, you can see just how big of a system it is here. Really rain throughout Wisconsin, back towards Iowa, into northern Missouri and Illinois. And again, this will all make its way on through here. Here's a look at that exact setup. So the rain that we saw earlier this weekend, those storms, that low pressure already making its way out of our area. Now look at this front, though, stationary front here, so this is staying put. And the next low pressure system in the plains at the moment, but this is going to ride right up along here, make its way through northern Michigan as we head throughout tonight and into tomorrow morning. And that's what's going to bring us all of this rain and then change it over to some snow. So let's time it out for you on Stormcast. Here's where we are now. Heading into our mid-evening hours. We're at 9 o'clock tonight. Look at this. Rain spreads right across, covers the lower peninsula. It could be heavy at times. In fact, some of us could be picking up another 1 to 2 inches of rainfall tonight, so that's going to just serve to aggravate our flooding conditions even more. As we head into the late night hours by midnight, more rain. We're looking at uh, eastern UP now seeing those rain showers and could be looking at more heavy rainfall, possibly some thunderstorms for the lower peninsula, especially the central lower ones again. And then notice as the system starts to push on through, start to see that transition that's going to happen first for the eastern UP and especially towards Luce County here. That's why you're going to see snow longer than the rest of the UP. So we're looking at a little bit heavier snowfall and some icy conditions late night tonight into early morning hours on Monday. Now here's a look at that commute. Some of you eastern UP seeing snow showers, especially along the Lake Michigan side as well, starting to see more of that transition. That's going to be the case towards inland areas. Be prepared prepared to give yourself extra time Monday morning. Could be looking at very icy roads out there as those temperatures fall and could see snow falling. Now, inland areas towards the Lake Huron side, you're going to look out a little bit more, looking at a little more rain showers to start your Monday. By lunchtime, this system pushes on through, makes its way out of our area, and we're left with just scattered snow showers and a decent amount of clouds. And again, might see a few breaks here and there, but not a whole lot. And we are going to keep scattered snow in the forecast throughout dinner time Monday and then as we head overnight. Now, most of us looking to pick up around one to three inches, if that. Eastern UP, though, Luce County, going to look at around two to six. Heading into Tuesday, most of us start off the day dry. We'll see a little bit of sunshine, but we're also going to keep scattered snow showers in the forecast for us throughout the entire day. And then as we head into Wednesday, for the eastern UP, tip of the mitt, the northernmost counties, we're going to see another round of some snow showers and even a little bit of wintry mix heading into Thursday. A couple things going on. We have a flood watch in effect for all of the counties in the lower peninsula. It goes through Monday evening, looking at one to four plus inches of rainfall. Also adding on to that some wintry mix and snow that's melted and could be falling. We're looking at a little bit of minor flooding across areas, already seeing it in some locations, so definitely be prepared for rises in streams and rivers. We also have a winter weather advisory in effect for Luce County that's going to go through a good portion of the start of your day on Monday. It's going to kick in at 2 o'clock in the morning on Monday, last until 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Looking at 2 to 6 inches of snowfall during that amount of time, the higher amount's going to be closer to the central UP. Here's a look at that 70 forecast. Windy conditions. Winds out of the north Monday and Tuesday. Expect pretty breezy conditions as highs. For most of us, going to remain in the upper 20s, low mid 30s for Tuesday and into Wednesday as well. We do see, again, the northernmost counties have the best chance of seeing snow, wintry mix Wednesday into Thursday. And then we warm up as we head towards the end of the work week, but we also bring back our next chance of rain. Thanks for clicking at upnorthlive.com.